Hi again everyone, I'm Ara. Welcome back to my channel. And although I like to make videos for med students and future doctors, this video is going to be a little different. It's going to be more personal. It's just all about me. So I came across this article from Thought Catalog like more than a year ago, I think. And I've had it bookmarked in my laptop since then. Because I've always thought I had to write about this one day when the time is right. And the time is now. And instead of writing about it, I'll talk about it. So here. The title is the 25 Non-Negotiable Things You Should Absolutely Have in Your Life by 25. naman. I don't always believe the cheesy articles in thought cat. I like to read them, but parang, oh, you know, parang this is not applicable to everyone. So let's see if this is true for me and see also if it's true for you. I'm just really doing this video para self-reflection. <laughs> Stuff about me that I'd like to share. Number one, you should have the I should have the a savings account. Not just the savings account, I always have like cash on hand, money in the drawer, money in an ATM where I have the card with me all the time, and money in an actual bank account that I can touch. Number two, a person you can call at 2 a.m. It's not a big deal at 2 a.m. sa amin kasi kasi pa kami niya nag-aaral pa, JP pa, nag-edit, nag-internet. <laughs> Number three is something you're immeasurably proud of accomplishing. Ayoko na masyado pag-usapan yung PBB, pero oo, oh, yun pa din. Nagulat ako na, hindi ko naman in-expect, syempre. Hindi ko naman pinla, no? Pero, wow, it's one of the things that I'll always have, I guess. That experience. That's the only thing I want naman from PBB, and that's what I got. Doon, when we were inside, parang naglalaro-laro lang talaga kami. Pero, when you watch it pala, no? As a viewer, pag naka-edit na siya for the whole show, tuloy nun. Sino yun? Anong pangalan nun? Galing nun. <laughs> Joke lang. Number four. A really terrible first date story. No, I don't have a terrible first date story. So, eh. I don't go on a lot of dates because I'm like always dating. Charat! <laughs> Ganda! Number five. A grasp on your overall health. Hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing yes. I know my menstrual cycle, my sleep cycle, my... Bathroom cycle. <laughs> I know the signs and symptoms when I'm super tired already. Next, I start with a sore throat. Yung sa akin when I'm fatigued already. Number six, the ability to say no. Oh, yung galing ko chan. Wala. Mabubisit kaya sa akin kasi pag no ako, no talaga. I don't say I'll try. If I don't wanna go, I won't go and I'll tell you straight. Number seven, a trick of choice. Yeah. Sangria, <laughs> fake moscato, mga puro pang chicks lang. I don't like beers. Tequila, yun yung pinakapampasaya. Water, milk tea, coffee. <laughs> yun talaga yung drink of choice ko. Number eight, balance. Your life may be one of extremes, but it should also have moments of quiet. Hmm. Extreme yung pag alis ko for a while sa hospital. And then now that I decided to go back to my book life, quiet now ulit. <laughs> Number nine, the maturity to recognize when something is your fault. Yeah, recently in love. Yeah. Number ten, a go to para okay jam. Of course, all my high school friends know it. I have like one or two or three. I think four of them. Yeah. Number 11, an email that you actually check. I have two emails. The first one is for like signing up in online accounts, getting newsletters and promos. And another email is for actual written stuff. And one of the things that I like receiving, by the way, are personal emails from you guys, especially when it's long and heartfelt. And number two, by the way, hi, mga nag email ng hi. Hi, Ate Al. Hi, Po. Hi, dog. Hi, dog. Wag na, guys. Tweet na lang, ha? Number 12. Goals you're actually working towards accomplishing. Yeah, for sure. My biggest goal right now is to finish my internship and take the boards. Number 13. A first aid kit. I'm not sure if we actually have some stuff at home na for first aid. I'm, I'm sure we have paracetamol, 
like the dynamic passive, um, wouldn't need any stuff. Number 14, a shake it off mentality. <laughs> so, um, yes, as in, ganyan na talaga, like ever since. Wala kong pake. Like yung pake ko, yun, at half day, yung pake ko, mumi na. Like, if I know it's not supposed to be a big deal, and I shake it off. Number 15, a computer. Yes, of course. I think everyone has a computer, or at least everyone in my circle because we're all students. And it's a requirement. Number 16, an article of clothing that makes you feel most cute. This one, I'm actually wearing it, a blazer. It's just a comfy blazer. It's conservative and it's still stylish. And also, can I just add, I'm always more comfortable wearing a ponytail. Like, if you see me every day, I always have a watch, which I don't have right now. A watch and a ponytail in one wrist. I'm going to so I'm it. Number 17, a job. Well, I don't have a full time job where I'm earning a lot because I'm still a post But I think that's kind of counted. Please, the bar, grab it. I'm going to call it. It's just that I'm on earning. Number 18, a song you can turn on when you just need to chat. No, Taylor Swift. Yeah, Joe, I'm in the I love listening to sad OPM songs. Number 19, a total guilty pleasure. Guilty! Always. Number 20, a friend who sheets it to you straight. Shoots alaga. Yes, I do. And I'm thinking I have friends like that because I'm also that kind of friend. Number 21, a really amazing first kiss story. Aren't all first kisses supposed to be amazing? I hope for you, at least for me. Number 22, the strength to say what you want. Yeah, the total, as in, all the recently, lang, I guess. I learned to be more expressive but still tactful. Number 23, a really reliable emergency contact. I think this is definitely my boyfriend. Because he's always there for me, talaga. Number 24, the ability to differentiate between your and your. So, number 25, self-awareness. Self-aware in terms of knowing that what I say should be in accordance with what I do or what I show or how I act. And self-aware in the sense that I know that my actions affect others. I think that's how I want to interpret it. So I'm saying that's something I have to work on. And that's it. And honestly, the reason why I talked about all of this is because today I'm turning 25. Happy, happy, happy. It's my golden birthday, and I learned about the concept of golden birthdays inside the Big Brother house. When Tanner told me, oh, when's your birthday? Oh, the 25th. Oh, you're turning 25 on the 25th. That's your golden birthday. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I just really thought. And to everyone else turning 25, maybe you can ask yourself this question. Also, the link to the article is down below. By the way, wait, wait. Thank you so much to Mac Cosmetics. Yes, for having me a while ago in your event at the ASML location. Yes. I love you so much. Thank you. Oh, well, yeah, that's it. If you like this video, please subscribe and like and let me know if you want to see more of these or stick along with some of my school related. Gulo, no? You can decide, no? But I'm going to have a birthday. That's it. Bye bye.